Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy, welcome. And today I am going to be running through, if I had to keep 10 palettes and 10 palettes only, which ones would I keep? Um, and I'm gonna obviously run through those right now with you. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell if you um, have a good time here and give me a thumbs up. Also, I'd like you to leave a comment down below with uh, some some of the palettes that you would keep because we're a community here and I like to hear your feedback. So without further ado, I've got an itchy nose because hay fever, hay fever season for me is like now. Anyways, let's get on with it. So the first palette I would keep is my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I adore this palette. I don't like the velvet because as you can see, it gets like dirty. I adore this palette. Um, it's It made me feel quite bougie when I bought it because it's high-end makeup. I absolutely adore this formula. Um, it was because of this palette that I bought some more Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, but this is the one that I would keep. Purely for the reason that I get the most use out of it and I can create pretty much a really simple look using any of these colours together. Like it's a really well thought out palette. It's a nice neutral palette. And I, if I've got like five minutes and I need to put some makeup on for whatever reason, I can literally grab this palette, chuck some colours on. They go on flawlessly. They blend really well together. As you can see, this palette's well loved. This love letter here has got a massive dip in it. Uh, which other ones has? Tempera has got a massive dip in it. Warm Taupe has got a massive dip in it. And then as you can see, the shimmers, which are like butter, have got massive dips in them. So I do enjoy this palette. I actually, believe it or not, enjoy this palette over Blood Sugar. And they're very similar colour stories. And so, but yeah, I would keep this one. The next one I would keep, and this is purely for aesthetics, and anybody who's a eyeshadow palette collector will know some palettes you buy just because they are pretty. And in this case, this is what happened. So it is the LA Splash Classic Horror Palette. I never keep, I never ever keep the 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 sleeves. But for this one, I have to because it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then the artwork inside is gorgeous as well. On the on the actual palette i just love it i love i love the fact that it's all like the women's take on the horror on the on the horror uh cartoons so you've got the characters they're characters they're not cartoons but they are cartoons but they're not anyways so you've got like the werewolf uh you've got dracula you've got mrs frankenstein mrs invisible uh, mrs hyde like they're all here there's dracula the woman dracula so yeah but i just love this palette i think it's the most prettiest palette i own and uh although the formula is not great i do wish i would get more looks out of this palette it's just not one i reach for i do have a bright palette coming up in my would i keep 10 so uh you'll see but i'm not too pleased about the formula i just think it's really really pretty that's the only reason i keep it I know at some point it's going to go bad and I'm going to have to declutter it. But at this present moment in time, I just, oh, I just keep it because it's, yeah, you're wobbling. I just keep it because it's pretty. The next one is the Colourpop designer, Disney designer collection. This was the first one that they bought out. They've bought out like two more and then they're bringing out like every single every single uh character they're bringing out like a, a a collection with but this is the original one they bought out and i am just living for it color pop for many years was like unobtainable to me because when you live in the uk they were like charging like custom fees and then they'd put the taxes on top of it and now color pop charge you the taxes at the checkout so you're not paying them and then they use a different courier so you don't pay um custom fees which is amazing i love this palette i love the color story color pop eyeshadows are the bomb 
like i love the formula of ColourPop eyeshadows it's just a nice simple palette but these shimmers uh prince charming i get a lot of compliments when i wear it um thingamabob is also amazing yes. i just love the color story it's just a nice simple color story i like the formula um color pop is is on the more affordable side uh but they come out with some really good palettes and this is my favorite one of the ones that i have from them the next one is um by blush tribe and i think they're they're going out of business but i'm not too sure i think i saw something on twitter but it is the paulina palette and i really really enjoy this palette paulina is uh, a youtuber um so yeah i really enjoy this palette you can get some really good looks as you can see it's very very well loved it's got the uh the greens the purples, the pinks. So you can make a really nice look with this. And I'm looking forward to using it in the summertime. The shimmers are the bomb. And yeah, it's just a really good formula. Blush Tribe did bring out a really good formula. And I'm a little bit upset that they're deciding to no longer trade. But yeah, this is one of my favourite ones. It was a limited edition for a while. And then they bought it as like, a, they kept bringing it back. But it was a really, it is a really good palette. And as you can see, it's really well loved. I have a bit of an issue with, with YouTubers that, that have been doing this, this video and you look at their palettes and you're like, you're, you never use them. You've never used that palette. I like to see palettes that have been used, basically. That's my thing. The next one is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. When I first saw the, the, the company, the brand Juvia's Place, this was the palette that caught my eye. And I'm sure this was another limited edition one that they brought back. Uh, but I, I love this palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's gorgeous to look at. The artwork on all of the Juvia's Place palettes are stunning. I believe this one is £19.50, uh, but I get all of my Juvia's Place stuff from Beauty Bay if anyone's interested. Some people say this palette is a bit sort of like overwhelming for them, I guess uh because they look at it and think what can i do but you can do plenty with this palette you've got your purples and your pinks with the shimmer you've got the greeny look you can do like a nice orangey look you've got a nice brown tone up here so you can put the brown in your crease and then any pop of color just shove it on the formula is amazing of juvia's place and i just really enjoy this palette Another one that I would keep, again, it's a Juvia's Place one, is the Warrior palette. And I love this palette. Just for a neutral palette, a brown, sort of everyday brown palette. This is the palette you want. <clears throat> the shimmers are butter. Like, I can't say that enough about Juvia's Place shimmers. This shade here is perfect for me for like a base shade. And uh, then I use uh, Kano. I don't know if I pronounced the names right, so I do apologize. Um, use Kano for like a crease shade. I can use uh, any one of the shimmers to just shove on my lid with a bit of eye liner and I can go. Uh, it's just really good. This one is a little bit dark for me, but I make it work. But it's a really, really good palette and I would be lost without a palette like the Anastasia palette where you can just grab it, shove some makeup on and you're, you're ready to go. The next one I would keep is the Slush Palette by September Rose Cosmetics. This palette is, if you want a bright palette, this is the palette to grab. It's got every single colour that you can think of, I think, for, that you're going to need. Like, if you want to do a brights look, the formula is really, really good. I've heard people say that they prefer the colour Rain. Um, I think it's Press Pigments or Pure Pigments palette. I can't remember what the name of it, but I don't have that. I have this one, and this one is good enough for me. I love it. Um, the shimmers are really, really good. The cherry limeade colour down here, I think, is oh, is the one that I dig into the most uh, for sort of purples. 
and uh, this berry blast up here as you can see is very well loved it's just a really good palette just to grab it's quite a nice size as well because storage is one of those things when you're an eyeshadow collector um you need you need to be able to sort of store them somewhere so it's just a nice it's a nice size it's a nice price as well and um it's not too expensive it's great the next one I would keep is actually a highlighter palette, but I use it as an eyeshadow palette. Um, it's from You Can Be, and it's a Heaven's Hue, and it's number one. This palette is everything. Um, on their own, they're not very great, but when you put them on top of eyeliner, I'll show you um, with one of the shades in just a second, they pop, and I get nothing but compliments when I do this little sort of trick. Um, so, yeah, so what I do... I'll just show you. Dig into one of the shades and just swatch it for you right here. It doesn't look that great. However, <clears throat> it does actually in person. It looks quite pretty as a highlighter. <clears throat> but if you were going out and you wanted something that was like poppy, then you put some black eyeliner down that's just the pencil eyeliner and then you grab some on your finger and just like pat it over the over the eyeliner it just looks really really cool and it just makes them pop and it happens with all of the shades on this one um and like i say i get lots and lots of compliments when i do it so i would want to keep this one i think these are like under five pounds on ebay I'm not too sure, but they're really affordable and really easy to get hold of. Number nine on the list is the Alien palette from Jeffree Star. I adore this palette and I'm really, really gutted that he's decided to discontinue it, to be honest with you. I know it had a lot of sort of um, criticism when it came out because of the eyes um, and people were like, yes, but how do I store it? Well, my argument for that is, why would you want to put this in a drawer? Like, I have it out on my vanity all of the time. I adore this palette. I'll just open it up for you. Um, you can see <laughs> I use this palette quite a lot. It's very well loved, so I do apologise if, like, dirty palettes are something that annoy you. But I, I love it so much. Um, this black is out of this world. And then it's a really nice cool tone palette. Um, you've got some really nice shimmers, this purple, this shimmer here, the purples are matte, sorry. The mattes are Jeffree Star, pure Jeffree Star um, quality, really easy to work with. Um, this yellow sort of, I don't know what this, the, the name is, is it? There's a name for like a yellowy green and I cannot think of it off the top of my head. If you can remember, put it down in the comments below. So then the shimmers, you've got Pluto, which is an amazing highlight colour. Jeffree Star seems to put like really good highlight colour in his eyeshadow palettes. Um, so they can be used sort of as a highlighter or as your inner corner highlight, but it's a really good colour anyway. Um, and then you've got UFO, which is an amazing gold one. I always pair the gold and the black together. You've got Probe, which is kind of like this duo chromey shade. And yeah, and then you've got for the mattes, you've got the X Files, which is amazing. Titan, uh, Phone Home. This green is also amazing. Um, these two together are quite a cute combo. It's just a really good pa palette and it's quite difficult to find sort of cool tony palettes. I tend to go towards more cool tone colours. I tend to find I'm a bit sort of intimidated by the warmer colours um, when, when everybody brings out palettes. But I just really adore this palette and I'm gutted that he has discontinued it because when this one is used up or it goes bad... I'm never going to be able to replicate it. But um, you never know. You never know what, what the future of makeup holds. The last one, number 10, is the Conspiracy Palette by uh, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I absolutely adore this palette. Um, it took me like an hour waiting in the queues. And then like every time the, the internet would break, I went and had a bath, came back, tried again charged twice for it, got a refund on the other one and it came in the post and I'm very happy with it. 
Um, so again, it's just a grungy, cooler tone palette, which I am living for. I know you do have some warmer tone shades in there, like don't come for me in the comments. I adore this palette. I get a lot, a lot of use out of it. As you can see, it is very, very well loved. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. So the top row is amazing. Again, you've got that amazing highlight shade that they seem to put it in. This one's called Ranch. And then I tend to use Tanacon for a crease shade, root beer, diet root beer, should I say, for like to, to do the outer corner, my pills to sort of blend things together. Um, and then this one I use as obviously a shimmer. <laughs> Uh, but they're just all amazing. I have sleep paralysis on my lids today. The only thing I will say about it is that with the shimmers, you have they're better applied with like the finger. And I do sort of resent spending quite a lot of money on brushes when I can't use them. Maybe some people can get them to apply better with a brush. I've never tried it. Well, I have tried it, but I can't get the right technique is what I'm trying to say. However, like it's not a big, big issue for me. And I do really, really enjoy this palette. I say at the moment, out of all of my palettes, this is the one that I do get the most use out of. And as you can see, that is the case. I don't know whether it's because it's it is so big and bulky. I haven't got it in a drawer. I have it out on my vanity. But even if it wasn't big and bulky and it still had this artwork, I think I would still keep it out because it's just so pretty. It's just my aesthetic. If you know me, I'm very much like, you know, black and white is, is my thing. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like this palette. It made me really, really happy when I was lucky enough to, to be able to get it on the first wave. Um, yeah that is the palette i would i would keep like i said guys let me know down in the comments below which ones you would keep uh let me know if you've got any of the palettes that i have spoken about and what you think of them and as ever guys i will see you soon for another video bye